Hello and welcome everyone to customsbreeze.com where filling out your customs form is easy breezy and in the comfort of your own home. Today we are going to be focusing our energy on Taiwan's declaration form, uh, their customs form, the ROC form. So here it is, I have it pulled up. And before we go into the section, um, I just wanted to point out some of the reasons why you might want to go to Taiwan. Uh, did you know that it has just fabulous temples? Most people, they go to Taiwan just to, just to explore the temples. Um, they also have great street food um, at the night markets. Um, it also has great terrain, beautiful mountains and beaches. Um, and they also have amazing festivals and a deep-rooted indigenous culture. So anyway, just to keep that in mind, it's something that you can look forward to and look in your tourist books to find out more inf information about that. But for our purposes today, we're going to be focusing on the customs declaration form. So I'm going to go into the search area and it will pull me up into the Taiwan, the Taiwan section. And before we go um, exploring the form itself, I just want you to keep in mind that on this website, customsbreeze.com, on this section and most of the sections um, that you will encounter for different countries, there's always um, country information and useful links. And I can't stress it enough for you to go into those sections, familiarize yourself with the information, find out what the country is all about, um, the do's and don'ts, um, and just to familiarize yourself with things that, that you might want to explore when you get there. So with that in mind, um, I'm going to click into the ROC customs declaration form section. And I'm doing this because I want you to see um, what exactly is going to be expected of you before you fill out the form. Always know that before putting pen to paper to always read what it is that you're going to be signing or filling out. So we're going to do that briefly before we actually get to the form itself. So we see in this section, we have a choice of downloading the PDF or to fill the uh, form online. So we're going to scroll down and here's a summary of rules and regulations section. So it says passengers who are bringing controlled or restricted items into the country must fill out the ROC customs declaration form, which is what we will be doing today and go through the red channel goods to declare for inspection and clearance by customs. So when you get there, that's what you'll have to do. So the red clearance, uh, red channel clearance, uh, passengers must declare the following at the red channel for customers inspection and clearance. And this is what is expected luggage and goods value. So, so when you see this, take note of this because they're giving you specifics of what it is that they need from you and your, and to, for you to be aware so that you don't make any mistakes. Um, and you don't say, well, I, I, I didn't know because they're making it very clear what it is that you can bring in, what's going to be inspected, what the limitations are. So look at this list because they talk about luggage and goods. They talk about cigarettes and liquor. They talk about currency and the amount of currency that you can bring in that needs to be declared and what doesn't need to be declared. Uh, negotiable securities, gold over a certain amount, diamonds, precious stones, aquatic products. I mean, this is stuff that you have to be aware of. And another thing you need to be aware of is the unaccompanied luggage. Some people don't realize what this is, but you have accompanied luggage, the luggage that goes on the airplane with you. And then you have the unaccompanied, that which you send, send off beforehand or after that is not going with you. It's going, it's being transported um, at another time 
on another um, uh, another another airplane. So keep that in mind. And of course, it says other dutiable items. Okay, so that's in the red channel section. The green channel section, it says passengers who have nothing to declare can go through the green channel, nothing to declare, without making a declaration. So this is like, you know, straight, straight through, go pass. You don't even have to stop. You just whoosh, go right through because you have nothing to declare. You have nothing to itemize. You have nothing to bring to their attention. So, um, and this includes some of the duty things because you may buy some duty free items. And, uh, if you stay within the, um, the parameters that they give you of how much you can, you can bring in, then you'll be fine. So here it is, it says personal belongings and household items, excluding controlled or restricted items can be brought in duty free for each person 20 or over. So they're giving you an age and they're giving you the, um, the amount in which you can bring in or how many. So look at this section carefully and, and know what your limitations are and who can bring in what. And here it is, this section, the unaccompanied baggage section. The quantity and main items of unaccompanied baggage must be declared in writing on the ROC customs declaration form when the passenger arrives. Unaccompanied baggage must arrive within six months of the passenger's entry. Undeclared or late arriving baggage will be subject to general import procedures. Exceptions may be made for acceptable explanations, such as delayed arrival of the vessel. So just look at this, you know, I'm not going to read every, every little bit. You can just look at this on the website and familiarize yourself with this before you start filling out the form. And of course we have our disclaimer. I mean, we know many things, but not all. Okay, so here it is. We're going to go right into the document itself. And it's not a very long document. Um, it's actually, it's pretty short, um, but it does have a front and a back. Okay, so we're going to go to the top. It's actually very short. Uh, Okay, here we go. Customs declaration, date of entry. So you put your family name and your given name. So family name, last name, and then your given name, uh, first name. And uh, before that, it says the, the date of entry, the day, the month, the year. So be aware of that, especially if you're in the United States and you've been brought up in the United States, usually the way they... Um, do the configuration of dates and months and years is usually you do the month first, the day, and then the year. But here they're asking you the day first and then the month and then the year. So be aware of that. And then your family, your family name, given name, your sex, male or female, uh, your passport number. can't stress this enough that you put the right numbers where it says your passport number, make sure you check and double check that you haven't made any mistakes. Next over is nationality and next over is occupation. What is it that you do? You know, you don't have to get too fancy. Just give them a general idea. Um, then it says date of birth. And, <laughs> you know, you may be looking at this document and saying, oh man, it's a lot of script on here. Um, you know, just, just make sure you look at it carefully because it, it is packed with a lot of, uh, calligraphy. Um, so it says date of birth and you put your day, then your month, and then your year, and then your airline flight number, which you can find on your boarding pass. You put it here and you put where you came from, you know, your, your starting point of your destination. Okay, then you go to the next line or the next area, and it says the number of family members traveling. Do you have two, three, four, five, six, whatever the case may be, that's traveling with you? 
Next is the address in Taiwan. So they want to know where you're staying. So you put that here and they give you three lines to fill it in. Okay, so now we're getting to number one and it says arriving travelers having to make declaration to customs instructions on the reverse side. That is on the flip side of this form, but for our convenience, we, we, we just have to scroll down and we'll see. Um, so it says, uh, reverse side shall fill in the following blanks. If you have something to declare, follow the red channel. Remember we mentioned the red channel before? So follow the red channel because that's for declarations of goods. Um, if you do not have anything to declare, follow the green channel. Okay. So here we go. Number two, if you have any questions about articles for declaration or red green channel selection, please consult with the customs officer before clearance. And trust me, they'll help you. So here it is. You're going to itemize and you're going to tell them the quantity and the value of each item that you list. And then the next thing you do is you, you sign, you read and you say, I hereby declare that the above entries are correct and complete to the best of your knowledge. And you sign your name and the bottom section is for customs only. And of course we mentioned what's on the flip side of this. So make sure you look on the flip side. So you understand what's on the first side, what they're asking you and uh, what the specifics are. Okay. So, that is this form, this ROC declaration customs form. And that's all we have to fill out. So I hope that this video was informative and um, that, you know, you can find out more information on the customsbreeze.com website and uh, have a wonderful trip, safe journey, and see you next time.